This happens to be focusing on concrete flooring. Um, we're trying to up-to-date uh, engineers, uh, clients, property owners on what is available in terms of uh, concrete flooring and the new ways of laying concrete floors. There's a lot of misbeliefs and uh, misunderstandings about concrete floor. Pe pe people think that they can be laid or thrown as it's called very easily with no hassles and no difficulties and the trouble is then the basics are ignored and the net result is that you get problem floors later on. Um, so we're aiming to try and prevent that uh, by educating people in terms of the latest technology, the do's and don'ts of flooring, good quality control, good concrete, uh, etc. There's lots of new things going on in other parts of the world, which is it's good that we can learn about and hopefully learn from and use in this country. And I think this year there is a particular emphasis on the elimination of joints in industrial floors and the advantages of jointless floors. One of the things I've been highlighting in my presentation today is, is the developments in controlling concrete floor slabs, the new directives in TR34, the guidance document from the UK. And one of the R&D projects I've been involved in is the use of recycled steel fibres. So we're taking end-of-life truck tyres, removing the steel wire, processing it and creating a material that can be used to reinforce concrete. And uh, not only has it sort of surpassed our uh, wishes in terms of environmental benefits, but its performance benefits have been really quite interesting. And we've created a, a new hybrid product uh, with performance as good as, if not better, than uh, the previous single fibre types, uh, as well as a, a reduction in CO2 emissions and the overall uh, output of the concrete. We are talking and promoting a prime composite uh, concrete system, which we've uh, just introduced into South Africa. It's an overseas uh, product and it's a non-shrinkage product and it's promoting jointless flooring. So we can do big panels of concrete uh, up to five or six thousand square meters uh, without any joints and uh, obviously this is uh, very advantageous to, to lots of logistics companies where without joints you don't have any um, damage to joints, you don't have any damage to fork lift wheels. Amsteel's participation in this is under the banner of PT Pave, which is a joint venture between ourselves as Amsteel and Chris House Construction, who is an industrial flooring specialist, and we do post tension industrial pavements, internal and external. And one of the primary aims is to eliminate joints as well. Um, so it is just a very robust method of constructing jointless floors.